What is up, guys? It is another segment of Dream Vlog. I am a huge, huge superhero fan. It doesn't matter if it's Marvel or DC. I don't have a team. I am in the gray. I am neutral because I like both sides. On Marvel, my two main contenders of my favorite, favorite superheroes from there is Spider-Man and Captain America. As for my two favorite heroes in all of DC, it is most definitely my boys, Batman and Superman. I'm sorry, guys, but those are my boys. Those are my men. Those are my top favorite contenders. Those are the main heroes that I like from both Marvel and DC. They're the top. I'm not going to apologize. Sorry. Not sorry. That's how it is. That's how it's always going to be. And that's how it's always been. It's not going to change. I don't see it changing anytime soon. In this dream, I had a fantastic dream, which I have no idea how it came about. It literally just happened. It just happened. Can't explain it. It just did. In the dream, I am in. Stark Tower, or was Stark Tower, it is the Avenger Tower. And it has become like the hangout place for both the young heroes of the DC world, which is the Titans, and the young Avengers of the Marvel world. It's been a hangout place, and it's been a training facility. It has pretty been much everything. I am, I guess I'm on the team, but not on it. Like, I make sure they have their gadgets, their suits are equipped with what they need, and so forth. Uh, I, in the dream, I feel left out. I feel overlooked. I feel underappreciative, and it really bugs me. It also turns out that in the dream, I, for some odd reason, am a hemophiliac. And a hemophiliac is someone who does not have the ability to... Uh, stop the bleeding their uh their body does not uh give them the um the ability to clot the blood to stop the bleeding if they get cut one little cut you know basically they have minutes to try and stop the bleeding as best they can because they can go through really bad um blood loss because their body does has the inability to form clots so Unfortunately, it can cause, you know, it requires to be treated and the condition can't be cured. Um, it can last for years and it also can be lifelong. Uh, the word hemo comes from the word Greek meaning blood. And philia means, uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? Greek. Um, Philia meaning affection. So blood affection. Um, basically, it you know it affects the blood and it doesn't give it the clotting thing. I don't know. I sound like <laughs> I sound like the the father from Big Factory. Give me a word, and I will tell you that word is from the Greek word of Greece. <laughs> That's what I sound like just now. But yeah, um, I was a hemophiliac. I do not know why, because reality is I'm not. You know, um, I don't know where that came about, but in the dream, I'm a hemophiliac. And because I'm a hemophiliac, um, it is very unwise and rather dangerous to have me on the field. He, and because my body does not have the proper uh, clotting abilities to do so. So I'm on the bench. I'm on the sidelines. And because of that, I feel left out because it just seems like the team feels like, well, if you're not on the field, you're basically not really on the team, you know, blah, blah, blah. Of course, they don't mean anything bad by it. But of course, I don't I feel left out. So I go to tell Stark, who's alive and well in the dream, telling him how I feel, telling him I want to be on the team, telling him that I shouldn't be discriminated against because of my condition. I am aware that my condition is life-threatening and is a huge liability there, but I'm willing to take the risk because I feel like it's the right thing to do. 
And I feel like being on the sidelines is unfair because I know fully well that he can easily do it just fine. You know, it's not about help or anything. It just feels like you're trying to keep me there because you're using my condition as an excuse. Well, we get in an argument and he just feels like you're not like us. It doesn't matter. I'm keeping you safe, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, I don't appreciate that. So I basically, you know, discharge myself. I uh, resign. You know, I, I pass on my resignation and I go. Uh, of course, not many people are happy. So I let them know why is it when I try to lead, you guys question it. When I try to do this and that. You guys give me a hard time and criticize me. You know, I'm trying to do a job as much as everyone else. And I don't appreciate you guys coming after me. Mine is, and at the same time, I don't feel appreciated at all. You know, feel used and abused and overlooked. And that's not okay. I'm not going to have that. Um, so I leave the team. Which, although, how can you leave a team when you're never on the team? But that's what happened. And the dream goes on to where... There is going to be a planned attack. Both sides are going to be attacked. Both the Marvel and DC people are going to be attacked. And how do I find this out? It involves a renaissance fair. Apparently, this renaissance fair is run by Deathstroke, also known as Slade, also known as Slade Wilson. Uh, he's the badass villain that you don't want to mess with. So... This guy has a plan to try to annihilate these heroes and bring the city to its knees so that he can have control over it. I find this out because I'm starting to hang out with this guy who basically says something that grabs my attention. On top of that, believe it or not, who else is in my dream? Jason Todd. Uh, basically, he's growing jealous and is not happy that I left the team. But despite leaving the team, I make sure his equipment and armor are ready to go. Even get him a jacket that is strongly resembles the jacket <laughs> that Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4 wears. So it's kind of odd, but Jason Todd does wear a jacket for those of you who are aware of uh, Red Hood. Anywho, he's not happy that I leave the team. However, he takes the jacket with him, which helps him out. Like I said, I get a whiff that the guy who I'm talking to is a part of Slade's team, Deathstroke's team. Um, and feeling that something is wrong, I need to hurry back. Basically, I was... I don't break in. I have access to it, which is weird. I have access to Wayne Manor and the Batcave in which I go in and I take bits and pieces from different armors and costumes that... Bruce has made and I make a makeshift costume hoping that it will help me and this costume is crossed with uh how can I say it's crossed with a bloodborne look if you guys have played Bub bloodborne and you know the hunter it seems like that it you know with the long coat and of course underneath I have armor hoping and praying that the armor will Stand up to a bullet since I am in a rush and I'm not really paying attention to which armor is going to be great against knives and bullets. Either way, you can't have both. One has to out, uh, outweigh the other. And I'm hoping that it's going to outweigh a bullet more than a knife because it seems I have the ability for hand to hand combat. Uh, I go into uh, Stark Tower because that's where a charity party is being held, that's where Stark and Bruce Wayne is. That's where almost every hero is. So I go in because the whole tower is under siege. I managed to override the security systems to get in. I managed to get to where I need to be. You know, using my, you know, stealth, my tricks up my sleeve without having any physical contact and fighting just in case. Uh, everything just seems to be going well. All of the innocent people are rushing out of the building to avoid a chemical attack. I foiled it. And now I am basically trying to get everyone out. In the process, I managed to get shot. And unfortunately, the armor was not able to withstand it. It goes through my shoulder, causing me to rush into uh, the uh, lab 
in which there is a contraption called the ark, and the ark is believed to heal tissue. It is believed to ha- possibly heal um, cancer. It's experimental, but that is my only shot to ha- to at least stop this bleeding, have the it clot, because I am in trouble. I am a hemophiliac, and I have seconds, not minutes, not hours. I have seconds before I lo- I die of loss of blood you know, blood loss. So I try to hurry in. Obviously, Deathstroke ain't gonna let me. I'm on the floor crawling, trying to make it to the Ark, and I basically am on my back with a gun to my head. Uh, he basically has his foot on the wound as if missing, like, I shall apply pressure and stop the bleeding, mocking my pain, mocking my situation. And for some odd reason, out of nowhere... He brings out this um, this sort of syringe and he stabs it in me and, you know, it reads a reading that I was not expecting. Apparently, I am his daughter. How that happens, I don't know. He is not happy. He is shocked. He is in complete, complete distress. He can't believe it. He's not sure how this has happened. But... Apparently, the father instincts kick in, and he puts me in the ark. He activates it, and it is doing his thing, healing me up, sewing up my wound, getting rid of whatever infection's in me. He then proceeds to take me, as I'm still in the ark, away from the building. Uh, you know, days passed, and everyone seems to be wondering, where the hell am I? You know, no one's seen me, no one's heard me. Let alone, the reason for this is because no one knew I was the hero that went to save their asses. So they're wondering what's going on. Jason, Jason Todd, he's not happy. He's worried sick. He's starting to feel like he fucked up big time. So he does the right thing and tries to look for me. And when they get a sense of what I did, all from the armor being missing towards the blood, the blood readings of my blood, they soon realize that I am the hero. I am their hero and I am in need and they are going to come and get me. They find me. In uh, Slade's headquarters, which Slade is weirdly treating me very, acting very father-like and acting like I'm his daughter. I'm a bit taken back because, well, reality is there's no way, (laughs) but in the dream I am. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. Obviously, uh, you know, he tries to explain himself. He feels bad. He regrets it. You know, basically... He wants to be a family, and the only way that can happen is if I'm on his side. But I tell him, no, it's not happening. And, you know, I am not going to abandon everything that I am. I'm not going to sacrifice my principles for you. It is not happening, you know. If you're going to use my friends against me, you might as well kill me. I don't care. You know, obviously he's not happy with that answer because, well, any real parent wouldn't want to hear that answer, but... He's a villain, and he's been doing this for years, and he's not going to give it up. However, he sure as heck is not going to kill me, period. So, obviously, word gets out. The whole building, the whole warehouse is under she's gunfire everywhere, and I am taken to safety. Who am I taking to safety with? I am taken to safety by Cyborg, Jason Todd, and Captain America, my boy. (laughs) Um... Obviously, Slade is being, uh, what do you call it? He is being thwarted with. He is, uh, there's the word for it. He is being, um, I don't know. There's the word for it. Whatever the word is, there's a word for it. He is being, um, outfought. You know, he's outnumbered. He is outgunned. And, uh, as like a last ditch effort. So at least somewhat win or he thinks is going to help him out. He then decides to, um, how can I say? He then decides to, uh, shoot me. Well, not shoot me, but he tries to do like a last ditch effort to get away from the consequences. So kind of like a suicide mood. So the he shoots his gun at me as if you know hey uh if i can't have you no one can you're my daughter it's not gonna happen so i'm gonna kill you and then i'm gonna do suicide so murder suicide whatever you want to call it and i get 
pushed out the way by um by Jason and you know of course we get covered by uh Steve Captain America with his shield and we hurry back behind us to behind a um a wall or something I don't know and it's crazy because I then notice that yeah I've been shot all right but I noticed that the jacket, the jacket that I made for Jason is on me. I'm like, whoa, okay, cool. It worked. I also noticed that Jason was shot. However, he's using the armor that I made him, which again, it worked. I'm shocked. I'm like, holy crap, it worked. He's obviously like his helmet's off and he's like looking dead in my eye and everything. And I'm like assessing his, you know, injuries making sure they're not life-threatening you know and i guess i pull his um i pull at, at his neck you know pull it back and i see on his collarbone a massive massive bruise it's crazy you know and i look at him and i'm like man that's gonna hurt in the morning he goes it was so worth it baby and he goes and he kisses me and everyone is like, finally, great. He's done being an ass and he's got the girl. And basically Slade um, fails to kill himself. Yes, he injured himself in his head, but not enough to cause brain damage, not enough to be like that life threatening. And we see that he is falling down the building. He is still alive and in uh, a stable condition although he is taken to jail because he is he's been thwarted that's all his plan has been thwarted and of course all is well blah blah blah, blah. but of course i feel like it's best that i stay off the team however i guess i'm willing to go with team bat <laughs> and help them out but you know it all depends on how i'm feeling obviously jason's not gonna let me go however i Guess that's how it is. That's how, that's how the dream was. You know, it was romantic. It was crazy. It was awesome. How or, or why it happened the way it did, I don't know. But that was my dream. Talk about fantasizing to be a hero and things like that. The only thing I can think of of why I dreamt that was because I'm pretty sure... It's something that I felt I do feel left out. I do feel underappreciated, appreciated, and I do feel overlooked at times. I also feel lonely, so I think that's what may have happened. At the same time, I want to be a part of something awesome, like a big project that, that has a big impact on people and go, wow, I was part of that. Yeah, that was cool. You know, I think that's what I want. So I think it could be some symbolic manifestation saying that i want to grow and i feel stuck and that i need to move away from something or you know to um cross myself out and get rid of myself as a variable variable i don't know but that's the dream i had it was an awesome dream kind of romantic yeah i like jason todd very very much he's one of my favorite boys you know? uh that's just me so uh there you go uh that's my dream. This is another segment of Dream Vlog. And yeah, your girl was a superhero. Your girl was a superhero. <laughs>